All right, guys, today we're going to take a look at this. This is a tear gas lock sent in by Arlington Lock over in Falls Church. I have never seen one of these things. Um, in fact, I tried to do a little bit of research to figure out what to expect. And online, I found only one picture of the face of one of these, a very old listing on eBay, and it didn't show the internal mechanism. Anyway, this is a salesman sample, so even rarer. Um, flip this dude over. You can see we got the tear gas warning on both sides. I would imagine that this was on a door that you didn't want anybody to try to, I don't know, jiggle open or try to break through. Uh, I could find nothing on the internal mechanism. I did get a note with this from Arlington Lock saying it does not contain tear gas. But, you know, I get all kinds of weird stuff from you guys. So just to be sure, I did pop open. These are the two screws. I did pop open just to make sure that the ampules weren't inside of there. Anyway, it is locked. I do have, see it's taped on the top here. I do have keys for this. I can feel them through this. But hopefully we don't need no stinking keys. And... Doubly, hopefully, let's hope we don't need a gas mask. Let's try to get this guy picked. Um, I have, if you take a look at the keyway, the nice thing about this, check it out. It's our old friend Eagle Lock on both sides, identical. And nice, that one's not even shinier. Anyway, nice keyway on this, a uh, little bit, well, not a little bit, very paracentric. So what I'm going to try to do is take this broken, I'm getting a lot of use out of a broken tensioner. Let's try them, I guess, right there. Try to wedge them in there a little better than that. That ought to work. Um, given the size of this, I'm probably going to use... Let's see, let's try one of these guys. Let's try the... This is a 12,000th. And that one's getting caught. This is a 10,000th from Rare Elements. You can see right there it says Rare Elements in their very own made-up language. And that one still drags, but he does reach past the warding. So even though it's paracentric, it's like there isn't any warding when you use something this thin. All right, let's try it. All right, maybe not the best tensioner, but it's the best I got. All right, here we go. All the way in, I'm going to apply moderate tension. Just tilt this a little bit so the glare not quite so bad. Okay, that was pin three. Got a binder on two. And that's just the pick bending. Get in there. I guess that's it. I'm getting snagged up. Even ten thousandths a little tight. I'm not sure if I'm trying to pick warding or the pin. Stop again. Okay, that was pin two. This is like pin one now binding. Pin one. And I felt a give on the core. That was pin five. Felt a very slight turn. Oh, felt it open. Here we go. Come out. Come out. All right, fingers crossed. No, I know there's no tear. I did check, so I'm just joking. There's nothing inside of here. Hopefully this works. There we go. It does work. I got chose the right direction. All right, so there you go. The tear gas lock. Um, I guess it's made by Eagle. I really don't know. Let's go ahead and pop it open. I'm going to show you the mechanism. You notice I was careful to, to not say I'm going to show you how the mechanism works because... I think you're probably going to be able to figure it out pretty quickly by yourself. There is one more screw in this. Let me remove this one and I'll show it to you before I pop the cover off. On the very top of this, there's a screw that holds the cylinder in. But again, this is a salesman sample. You wouldn't be able to see that if this were installed on a door. All right. So, came off. On the back side, we just have the lock cylinder and nothing connecting the lock cylinder to the actuator. So... The, the actuator here turns and and I'll, I'll well here's the actuator from the other side so I'll take a screwdriver and the actuator comes down and pushes stuff over like that now you notice when I shoved it over 
This is where the glass ampules sat that contain the tear gas, right here. Now, of course, they've been removed in a salesman sample. And here is the hammer that's designed to, when released, you can see it's got a very powerful spring here. It'll swing down and slam into them. Notice there's really nothing connecting the actuator. This post solidly holds that hammer in place, and you can't even lift this up away from that post. You can't disengage it. The only way to disengage that post from this hammer is to break the housing of the lock. So if you're going to attack the lock, you know, attack the box e uh, either from the inside or attack from the outside with a hammer, you're going to probably break the housing and that would dislodge it and that would allow the hammer to swing down and hit. Likewise, if you have a you know, very brutal attack, I would imagine just the shock of slamming into this would probably break those glass ampules, but that's the only way I can figure that those ampules might ever get triggered. So I guess what I'm trying to say is this was probably, while not 100% psychological warfare, it was like 90% psychological warfare. Yes, it contained tear gas, but only if you use extraordinary force to slam into this to cause those glass ampules to break. You're not going to accidentally, by trying to pick the lock, trigger that hammer to slam and open up and release that tear gas. So very cool, but mm, I think back in the day, 20s, 30s, whenever this thing was made, probably a lot of that was just kind of freak people out. Anyway, guys, appreciate your time. Stay safe, stay legal. Ah, the giveaway. All right, I'm not giving this away, but what I will do, let me move that guy off to the side. I will give away another Lock Lab tray that I custom made here in the Lock Lab on the 3D engraver. Um, signed on the back, made it last year. I will give away a lock, Learn Lock Picking Kit by Lab that uh, they donated for the giveaway. And last but not least, see which one this is because they sent me two or three. This is the seven pin ultimate adversary lock. And get this guy open for those of you who've never seen these before but are looking for training locks, you know, that don't contain tear gas. This would be a good choice. It's a seven pinner. This one's not pinned up. All the parts you need are inside of this bag. It's a pair-centric keyway, so you can go uh, start out progressively by pinning, say, two of these, and as your skills improve, pin them progressively more and more with more and more complex pins. The pins are included. There's a bag of huge pins here. Standard pins, spool pins, serrated pins, T-pins, everything you can imagine, along with a lot of repair parts to keep this lock going. Anyway, guys, this is one you can probably pick without a gas mask. Appreciate your time, guys. Stay safe. Stay legal. Arlington Lock, thanks for this piece of history. And thanks for taking the tear gas out. I appreciate that. Thanks, guys. All you need to do is navigate to locklab.com, the tribal website, and scroll down in the middle of the page. You'll see all the giveaway buttons Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. But the one you're looking for is the weekend review giveaway purple band. Just click on it. It'll take you to the registration page. Again, scroll to the bottom. Put in a good email address. So if you win, I can get in touch with you, let you know. Put in a username, doesn't matter what it is, and click Submit. When you're done, you'll get a green check mark confirming your entry. Thanks, guys. All right, guys, I always forget one thing, don't I? And that is to show the key. Don't need that. Keys. It looks like two of them in here. And, guys, these are original. These are not recuts. And there's the long lost codes, both identical. So let's try it, let's see if it works. Yeah, but that's kind of, kind of opposite of what you would expect, isn't it? Let's try it on the other side. See if, let me just see if they're bitted the same. And there's no reason, no, nope, maybe not. Oh, wait a minute, opposite. There we go, it does work. Anyway, very cool and kind of neat to get the original keys that came with this dealer sample. Anyway, guys, appreciate your time. Stay safe, stay legal. Arlington Lock, thanks again for this, well, piece of weirdness. Thanks, guys.